Hi, I'm Rick Streaker. In this segment of the Packard Academy, we'll be conducting a compressor motor winding continuity test. Now the purpose of the test is to assure that the winding of the compressor is okay. A secondary purpose is to identify the leads, which lead is the start, which is the run, and which is the common lead. Now when conducting tests on the motors or running a compressor, make certain that the power is off first of all when you're doing a test, but then also when running the compressor or the compressor is pressurized, that the cover to the conduit box is always in place. If not, there's the risk that the, the pins of the contacts could fly out and seriously injure. Now we'll measure the resistance through the winding by using our own meter set on ohms and attaching the probes to the different terminals. We'll start by measuring the bottom terminal and the top left terminal. Let that settle down. The resistance through the top and the bottom left is about 0.5 ohms. We'll now take the measurement through the top left and the top right terminal. The resistance through those two terminals is between 1.9 and 2 ohms. We'll now measure the resistance through the top right and the bottom terminal. The resistance through those terminals is between 2.5 and 2.6 ohms. So in evaluating the resistance readings that we obtained, we see that the lowest resistance reading is from the top left to the bottom. We see that the second highest resistance reading is from the top left to the top right. The common terminal then would be on the top left. The run terminal would be at the bottom. The start terminal would be at the top right. So we've been able to identify first of all that if we add these up, the uh, common to the start plus common to run would equal the run to the start, which indicates that the winding is okay. We've also been able to identify all three leads, the common, the start, and the run. Please visit our website, www.packardonline.com, for additional training opportunities.